Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm going to show you how I've made these three cards. I have made a shirt card on the channel before. I think it was maybe about three years ago and I will link that up here and it will also be at the end of the tutorial. But I've seen all different styles around so I've just gone with some themes that I like. I've pulled out a paper pad that I thought worked really well for these kind of checkered shirts or jersey wear. And then I've done this one here which I really like as well which is a Quite a special card. I think it would work lovely for a wedding, um, congratulations, maybe an award ceremony, something like that. But also, if you don't want to do masculine makes, you can change these up to make them look a little bit more feminine if you wanted to. You could add some pearls underneath the collar here. This could be a floral print. You could have some lace or something around the, the cuff there on the sleeve. And again, with this one here, it could be an animal print. I've got an animal print shirt on today. So you can also change these up if you wanted to, but I do also have that other short sleeve style, which has been turned into a lot of football shirts as well, which I've seen being shared on the group. So you can, you know, turn these into maybe a uniform that somebody has. I think they would work really well. So let's get into the tutorial. They're really easy to make. You don't need any specialty dyes for any of this. So let's get started. So supplies I'm using, this is the paper pad. The, it's only a puppet paper pad. It was a Christmas collection, but it works really well for masculine makes. And then I'm using... The sentiments and I don't think I'm using the icons on these cards but the sentiments I've kind of mixed them all up so for example on this one I've got simply the best which is from here and then the sun is from this one and then the take it easy is from this one so yeah they're really nice they work really well to mix and match um, and then I put the take it easy in there as well which I've just realized I've done twice I guess it doesn't matter but I might end up changing that inside so to make this one you want to first of all we're working on a five by seven card blank so I've cut this piece here to four and three quarters by six and three quarters okay so it was one whole piece I've then cut off one inch from the top this is going to stick down on here this piece here you want to fold it in like this so I'm just going to give you the kind of if I give you the measurements from each side, so from the top, I've marked with a pencil one and three eighths in on each side along the top. And then along the bottom, it's one inch. And then if you just pop your ruler across the pencil marks, you can just fold it over or you can score it. But you want it to go in like so. And that's going to look like your collar. And that is going to stick on the top there. OK, I've then got this piece here. I've already popped some foam on this and it's three quarters of an inch by three. And this one is going to stick in the middle. That's going to go on the top. A button's going to be right there. So you won't see that little gap. And then I've got this piece here, which is going to be for the cuff that's going to wrap around and be on the front, which is two by two. I'm going to pop this up on some foam. This one is going to be like this. By lifting it on foam, you're going to really notice it. Obviously, it does go, it does kind of get lost there. And then I've got this piece here, which is the the edge of the or the cuff, I guess. And that's going to go and just wrap around. If I can get this on here, and you want one bit that's kind of overlapping. And the button's going to go on there. But again, I'm going to pop some foam in there just so it all looks quite dimensional. Now, if you want, you could use a different colour. So the measurement of this piece is three quarters by four and a half. OK. And I've just wrapped it around. Like I said, so you've got. I do it that way. It's up to you how you fold it, but you just want the longer piece coming down that sits over that one there because that's how you're going to stick it down but I don't have a long piece of the scrap so I'm thinking I'm just going to cut it just so it just wraps around if I just show you another way to do it so I'm just going to snip that off so I get the look that it's wrapped right around and then this piece can then just be kind of patched and still have enough to just fold around because it's by folding it around that gives it that kind of padded look but I think I like it with this plain colour because I think it helps everything kind of stand out just that little bit more. And once that's stuck down with some foam and then I'm going to have these green buttons. You can see if I just place that on there, how that starts to look like the sleeve. 
So yeah, go for pattern or plain. I'm going to stick with the plain. So first of all, I'm going to stick this piece down. Then I'm going to stick this piece just on that back section. So we've still got that nice frame at the top there and on the bottom of the card. Fold that in and just make sure you've got the same. So it's about one inch from each side. Now you could round the corners off here as well if you want to. But I think I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to pop some foam behind these. I think anything that you've got kind of overlapping or wrapped around, pop some foam behind. And that's just going to give it that padded look. And it's going to hold everything down as well. There we go. So it just creates that natural shadow. And then this one here. Did I give the measurement for this one? I think I did. It was three by three quarters, I think. Three quarters by three, yeah. So I can just slide that one under. Just make sure everything's nice and straight, like so. So that's ready to add the buttons. And then this one is going to go down here. Now I've got my sentiment, but I think I'm going to cut this a little bit thinner. So the width of this piece is going to vary depending on the sentiment, but the length of it is the five inches. I've done it the full width of the card. So that's going to just go right along the bottom. And it just gives that more room there. So again, I'm going to pop that up on some foam. Okay, so I've popped the foam on the back. Then I'm going to add just a little bit of glue on the back of that so I can... Just wrap that piece over first and then this one on the bottom. Like I said at the beginning, you can make these any theme you want. So it could be a rugby shirt, football shirt. So you're going to be doing things a little bit different. So that's all lifted up now. It's all stuck down on the back. And then I'm just going to lay that one down like so. Then I've got my pocket here. So I've heat embossed the take it easy. So this is one and a half by one and a half. Rounded off the bottom corners there. And then I've just cut a very thin strip of, of a quarter of an inch by one and a half. Again, pop that up on foam. There's foam on the back there as well. And then that one is going to go. It's quite good that the pattern paper's got all the lines because it's easy to line up everything else. So there we have kind of the bases now it's the buttons that's that kind of bring it all together so i've just got these ones I'm sure we've all got buttons lying around they're usually in little bags on our clothing and stuff so i just save all those but i'm going to have one there one right at the very top and then i might not need all of these i might actually flip them over because i kind of like the back side it's, it's more dull there we go i think that looks really cool so i'm using my hot glue but you could use your silicon glues you know, you can use your, your your liquid glues and stuff. You just might have to hold it a little bit longer, but just a very small bead in the middle there. So that's all the buttons stuck down. I think they look really good. Now, if you want, you can cut just around here and have the same kind of border. I'm going to do it. i done it on the um, the card that I mentioned at the beginning, which I've had up on the channel now for a while if you just follow along so you've given yourself the same border that you have here and then it's only a small amount that you're cutting but it really does then frame the the shape you know that shirt shape that you've done really nicely there we go I'm not going to add that inside because I want to change the sentiment, but I would stick it and then cut that bit or just do a smaller square just in the middle there. But that's one example on how you can make a really nice shirt card. So next we're going to make a tuxedo. So this is taking me back to my days when I used to sell suits. So this one's going to be kind of like a double breasted one. It's going to fold over anyway. So I've got again a five by seven card blank. And then I've got these two pieces here, which are three by six and three quarters. And then what I did is if you come up two and three eighths, come up the bottom here, mark at two and three eighths, and then along the top here, mark at one and a quarter. And then again, just lay your ruler down and fold over, and that's going to create your lapel. 
and then you could just sit the other one just behind it like this and then just follow the fold you want two pieces like so and then one's going to go over the top you'll see we kind of get a bit of a double breasted effect if you've got very small buttons you could do two four and six and then that would look like a double breasted i'm not gonna well i could maybe get away with that actually yeah maybe we will do the two buttons i actually think that's going to look really nice then because it's going to be a double lapel because it's a tuxedo style which way did i do it? it was that way and then yeah just it's going to come down a little bit there so you get those two layers i really wanted a satin black cardstock and i looked all through my stash and didn't have anything but if you've got any satin or glitter card stick it over the top so you've got that if you look at traditional tuxedos they have the satin lapels it will look really nice but we're just going to do this this way for those that don't like myself so this piece here is two by uh two by four and a half will be fine and then just cut across okay doesn't matter if you do top left to bottom right or bottom left to top right as long as you've got two pieces because you can flip them because it's double sided you're going to stick it underneath but i'm going to add foam but you want it to come down just a little bit further can you see we've got that effect you just there it is right up next to it so it'd be exactly the same but you want to bring it down so you've got about three eighths i guess even a quarter of an inch will be fine but i'm going to pop foam in between there and then you're just going to trim off that little bit that's kind of coming off the edge there so i'm just going to pop three foam dots there and then you can kind of lay that down where you want it to be like so and then I'm just going to flip that over and just trim off the excess there and then do the same with this one I'm going to take some more foam and pop it underneath there and then we can just lay that down so we've got all that dimension okay next we've got this one here now you can put white buttons on this if you want for it to be the shirt but i'm going to have a hidden button shirt so you get that just that straight thick white section down the front sometimes there's like frills on the side of it but i'm going to have that one just running right down through the middle there so again just going to pop some foam on there and i'll give you the measurements of that piece so this is three quarters by four i'm not sticking it down yet i'm just placing everything because it's good for you to be able to you know change it if you need to and you can start to see how it all comes together now for the bow tie i went for this one so this is five and a half by three quarters and you want to just pop a little curve into this and then just bring in the middle so they just kind of overlap each other and we're going to stick them together but you want to keep a bit of bounce i mean it is going to get squashed if you put it into a normal envelope so you might want to pop it in a box envelope we want to stick that together and then we're going to cut a little triangle shape into there to give it more of that bow tie look so i'm just going to add some glue over about half an inch and then just sit that down in the middle and then pop a bit of glue she just made a little ring at the minute and just sit that on there you can make little bows on your envelope punch board because you've got the notch on there as well if i use the notch punch that i shared in my last what did i get the notches would probably join and then it would take you know it would then cut this into two parts which is i don't want but instead if you just cut a little triangle like so and then another one but you don't want to you know you don't want them to join like so okay and then i'm going to take this piece you know the measurement of this you just do what i'm doing here just cut a thin piece everyone's is going to be slightly different you don't need it even to be that long but it's going to go through the middle and you can see there we get that 
bow tie effect. So that I can cut loads of that off because I don't need all of that. I'm going to pop some glue on the back. Just stick one side there and then just wrap that around to the other side. A little bit fiddly, but it does look really good. Again, add a little bit of dimension. You could put some foam inside there if you just wanted to. I've got some black foam pads actually, so I could use those. And that way, even if it does go into a, a normal envelope, it will still have dimension. But you can see now when we stick that on there, we get a really lovely tuxedo look starting to come together. This is a square piece, one and a half squared, and then just cut it on the diagonal. Okay, so you've got these two pieces. So you can still add these, but the idea was is that you would just kind of, you only see really a little bit. You just kind of have them like overlapping each other. And then if you lay your bow tie on there, you can kind of see it. Maybe I should keep it. It does give it another layer. So first of all, I'm going to add my glue all over this. I think I want this one down first. I'm going to have the right over the left. But again, it's completely optional. But if you use your liquid glue, then we've got that wiggle time and we're able to stick things underneath still. Now I'm going to pop some foam probably under that bit. But you can just wiggle that around until you've got a nice white border. Then this piece can slide in with the foam. Just kind of move that around. I'm happy with that. And then I've just popped some foam under there. It just helps lift the piece that's that double breasted kind of look. There we go. I'm using such small amounts of glue just want to see just a little point of, of the shirt there. And then I'm going to use my hot glue on the bow tie there. And that's going to cover those pieces. Yeah, I did have these discs that I was going to pop the button on top of, which just made it more of a bigger button. So maybe if you've got small buttons, if you cut a circle and stick it underneath, it makes it a bit bigger. But because I'm now going to add six, I think that's going to be a bit too much. So get these ones down. So for the sentiment, I've used It's Your Day. And it's going to vary the pocket size depending on the sentiment you have. But... This is, you could do one and a half by one. Again, I'm going to pop some foam on there, but I want to put a faux hanky behind. Now, again, when I used to sell suits, we would make them straight. But you could cut a piece of white card, a bit jagged. You could add a real piece of fabric in there, but I'm going to cut just a very small piece. that's just a little bit higher, like so. I've just popped some foam behind there again, and I'm going to have this one about there, like so. I think that looks lovely. Now, I've just had an idea. If you've got any of the sparkle pens, this is the Spectrum Noir Sparkle, and it's the clear. I'm going to cover all of the top lapel so it's glittery. Well, it won't look like over-the-top glitter. This is completely optional, but if you do just want to add... Let's see, just it will completely dry and it will just leave a bit of sparkle. But you can, when it's wet, it does look like that satin kind of finish, so you can imagine how it would look. Or you could just do the bow tie if you didn't want to do all of the lapels. There we go. So it won't take too long to dry. But you can see that detail. It does look really nice, actually. I think it finishes it off perfectly. So there you have it. So that's card number two. And then card number three, I've got a five by seven card blank. I've got a piece of, this is a piece of four and three quarter by six and three quarter. That's going to go on the top. So actually I'll stick that down first because everything else gets stuck on top. Okay, next I've got this strip here, which is six and three quarters by three quarters of an inch. Pop foam on the back and this is going to be the section where the buttons are going to be attached. So it's the front of the shirt where you do it up. So it's going to run flush with the edge of the card there. I've then got this piece, which is two by 
four and a quarter. You're only going to need half of this, but it's going to attach from point to point. So you want to cut this. So I'm going to cut across from the bottom left there up to the top right. You only need one piece and this one is going to just stick right across there. So it's like the collar is hanging over. So again, just going to pop some foam on there. Now the pocket, I wasn't sure what size to cut, whether to do it from there or further down. So I think I'm going to do from the, the top one here. That looks like it would be a better before proportion so this is a piece of two by two by two and a quarter and then along the bottom just mark the middle point so one inch like so and then you want to come up each side seven eighths of an inch and then just cut across like so And then I would do yours on the back, but I'd already done my pencil there. I'm just going to rub that out. Okay, so now we've got our pocket. And then I've just done this piece to go on the top. And I've stamped Dad on it. And that is from this one. So it's the Take It Easy again. Everything will be listed below. I'm just going to pop foam all on this. And then just decide where, it, where you want it to go. I don't want it to line up with that because I think it gets lost. So... I think I'm going to offset it like so and that way you still get to see the pocket and then there's the dad and then I've got my buttons here I think that's probably enough yeah I think that looks quite good Okay, so really simple but really effective I like that one again you could have a different color pocket if you want a different color collar there all this trim it's entirely up to you but i just wanted to do that as a full check checkered shirt i think it looks lovely so there's my three shirt jacket cards which one's your favorite one two or three i think for me it's in between these two i actually love the way the glitter has dried on that i think it does set it off really nicely and like i said at the beginning you know this could easily become more of a feminine look you could add a, a little string of pearls underneath the collar here you could have some lace or some, you know, pretty trim there and change and have it as like a floral shirt. Same with this. There's no reason why that can't become more of a, a feminine look if you wanted to. But also theme it. So this could be the side of a, you know, like a football shirt or something um, or any kind of uniform that that person might have. This one I just really like as well. And I think it would work lovely for a wedding day. You know, congratulations card. Maybe someone's got a new job. Maybe they're going to collect an award. Yeah, I think it's lovely. So thank you as always for watching. All the product that I've used will be shared in the description box below. Popping up now will be the other shirt card and I'll have another masculine kind of make on there as well. And if you've enjoyed today and you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and make sure you hit that notification bell and then you'll be notified every time I upload something new. See you all again soon. Bye.